What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And today I'd like to give you five tips for the beta. I know a lot of people are going to be hopping in today for the first time on PC and Xbox. I know there may be a lot of people on PS4 that did not get to participate in the alpha. Uh, maybe they did not get to play a lot in the alpha. Maybe they didn't get to play a lot last weekend during the first weekend of the beta. So these are going to be some things that can help you out. The first tip, we're going to talk about settings. Now there's several different settings that you can look at. I always recommend turning off motion blur. So if you have the option... Uh, to go in there and check, make sure that motion blur is off. I'm not a fan of it. It does look cool in single player, but it is absolutely awful in multiplayer in my opinion. Make sure you check out the new FOV slider as well. I know a lot of people on PC are used to FOV sliders, but if you're playing on Xbox, this is going to be something a little bit different when it comes to Call of Duty. Now, the one thing I do have an issue with, I really love the idea of an FOV slider, but I feel like on some older gen consoles, like I have a day one PS4, I was having issues with frame rate drop when I turned my FOV up. So if you're playing on maybe an Xbox One X, uh, you may not have these issues, but if you're playing on a day one Xbox, be sure that you kind of just mess with these settings, these FOV settings, because in my opinion, if I was turning it up to 100, 110, 120, and I was dropping a lot of frames, that advantage that you were getting of having that FOV on was really putting you at a disadvantage at that point because you were dropping frames so much. Now, like I said in the video I made a few days ago, uh, after the first weekend of the beta kind of ended, I feel like these FOV settings were really made for next-gen consoles. But I did have a lot of friends on PS4 Pro that were playing with, you know, around 100 to 110 FOV setting uh, or FOV settings, and they were saying that the game ran pretty smooth. So just kind of mess with these FOV settings and see what is comfortable to you and what works best for you visually. Also, something else you're going to notice in the settings are the different sound settings. Now these sound settings did change from alpha to beta weekend one. There were things like super crunch in the alpha. Last weekend during the beta, all we had the options for was kind of boost high, boost low, and Treyarch mix. Personally, I used boost high. Uh, of course, that's gonna be personal preference. Just test, test them out and see what you like. I will say that they did, between the alpha and the beta, they did make the gun sounds a little more bassy. The grenade sounds a little bit more bassy. The kill streak's a little bit louder. And that was one thing that kind of annoyed me. I do use Astro A40s, and I hate having to turn up the game volume to be able to hear footsteps to where it's when everything else is extremely loud. Kind of reminded me of Modern Warfare. Now, it's not as bad as the VTOL in Modern Warfare, you know, where you can't absolutely hear anything else. But I will say at the same time, there's a lot of loud uh, sounds in the game since they changed the way the sounds work or the kind of the, the sounding game in general. So you may have to uh, kind of tweak those sound settings to get exactly what you want. And last but not least, make sure you check out all the options in the HUD. Uh, they didn't make it so you can completely customize your HUD, but you can turn things off like the compass on top because you have the classic mini-map back. You can turn off the health bars above your head, your teammates' heads, uh, you know, the enemies' heads, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of different HUD settings that I feel like make the game a lot cleaner looking. I went for the most basic HUD that I could get. You can't, like I said, you can't customize it completely and take everything off, but you can customize it a lot to where it makes the screen look a lot less cluttered. The next thing I can give you kind of as a tip is if you're, if you have not played whatsoever, make sure you slow down, kind of learn the maps, learn the time to kill. The game does, if you're used to playing Modern Warfare, as long as you're in a good, decent lobby. Now, we did have issues last weekend where it felt like you were dying instantly. When you're in a good lobby, you can tell the time to kill is not as slow as Black Ops 4. I would say probably a bullet or two faster than Black Ops 4. But at the same time, you can tell it's a bit slower than Modern Warfare if you're used to playing Modern Warfare all the time. Uh, also, a lot of these maps uh, have, as you can see here, Cartel. There's a lot of places you can hide uh, in this map around the middle of the map. There's a lot of bushes and things people just lay down in. Uh, make sure that you take your time. Learn kind of where the enemies are coming from. Start learning the maps. Learn the time to kill before you start just running around. Once you kind of get the feel of it, then you can just kind of pretty much run around like you would in any other Treyarch game, in my opinion. Uh, the one thing I will say is visually, a lot of people have been complaining about this. It's hard to see enemies at times on certain maps, and I will agree with that. That is the one thing that I don't like about the new engine they started kind of using with Modern Warfare. Uh, however, they tweak the engine. It makes the graphics look really, really nice. But at the same time, it makes people being able to see enemies very hard at certain places in the map, certain distances, that kind of thing. So just be aware of that as well. But if you kind of can slow down, learn the maps, learn the time to kill, I think once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to kind of pick up the pace and really enjoy the game. Take advantage of the shotgun secondaries. I absolutely hate that they've added shotgun secondaries into the game. I hate that you don't have, have to run a, a shotgun as a primary. You can run it as a secondary. And during the beta weekend one, there was a lot of people running around with shotguns using them as their primary because they are pretty strong. Now, they're not just crazy insane right now or anything like that, 
But if you're not using one, you're using a pistol, a lot of times you're going to get beat by somebody using a shotgun. You know, they may run out of bullets, run out of ammo, need to, you know, swap weapons, whatever the case may be if they're in a gunfight with you. And people are going to take advantage of that shotgun, so be sure you're taking advantage of running a shotgun as well. Now, to begin with, you may want to run a launcher if you don't have Ghost Unlocked because UAV spam is pretty crazy. They did tweak that a little bit during the first weekend of the beta. But at the same time, uh, if you can have an option to run that shotgun secondary, I would recommend you probably do because it is one of the better secondaries in game. Also, make sure that you know that you can edit classes on the fly in game, just like Modern Warfare. I was so glad they brought that feature back. That was one thing that I always felt like Call of Duty was missing until Modern Warfare did it. Now, it was a bit buggy during the first weekend of the beta. It felt like sometimes I could change the class and I would have to die a couple times before it would ever, you know, go to what I wanted it to change to. But just keep in mind, you can change your, you know, weapon attachments, perks, that kind of thing on the fly, which is really, really nice. And last but not least, keep in mind that Ghost will not work if you are sitting still. You can notice, of course, you know, we have the mini-map back, the classic mini-map. And when you're running around, it's like any other Call of Duty or any other Treyarch game. When you start to move, of course, your triangle, your, your character there on the map, you know, the, the emblem that represents you, you uh, will kind of start to fade out. When it fades out, that means Ghost is activated. You'll notice when you slow down that, of course, it will get brighter. That means Ghost is not active. You cannot sit still in this game and ghost uh, and use ghost it's not like modern warfare it's like a lot of the other Treyarch games you have to be on the move for ghost to work now you don't have to be at full sprint you can walk uh, stop reload that kind of thing but as soon as you stop moving completely you will notice that ghost uh, will not be working and people will be able to see you on the radar anyway guys those are, like I said just some five tips that I wanted to kind of give out to kind of help a lot of people new uh, getting into the game today maybe some ps4 players that did not get to play as much over the alpha or the first weekend of the beta. But anyway, guys, like I said, I hope it helped you out. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, GT Racing, and of course, my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.